Prince Charles had a string of royal romances before his doomed marriage to Diana. One of Charles's love interests was Anna Wallace, who he is said to have proposed to twice but was rejected both times. Anna, the daughter of a Scottish landowner, was nicknamed Whiplash Wallace due to her hunting skills and fiery personality. She dumped Charles in 1980 after the Queen Mother's 80th birthday party at Windsor Castle. Anna accused the prince of ignoring her during the ball and was overheard telling him, I have never been so badly treated in my life. You've left me all alone all evening and now you will have to continue without me. Anna went on to marry entrepreneur Johnny Hesketh, the youngest son of the third Lord Hesketh, but the couple were to soon divorce. She then married Tom Oates but 16 years later that marriage also ended in divorce. Charles, meanwhile, went on to romance Diana, with the pair announcing their engagement in February 1981 and marrying in a fairy tale ceremony at St. Paul's Cathedral five months later in July. At the time, Charles was under growing pressure to settle down after previously saying that 30 would be a good age to marry. Over the years, the prince had dated countless women, including his long-term love Camilla in the early 1970s. Camilla was not considered a suitable bride for the future king due to her past and she left Charles heartbroken when she married Andrew Parker Bowles in 1973. But Charles and Camilla's romance never fizzled out despite wedding others. In her explosive 1995 Panorama interview, Diana said there were three of us in her marriage to Charles, adding that it was a bit crowded. And Charles admitted in a 1994 documentary that he was not faithful to Diana after their marriage became irretrievably broken down. Charles and Diana divorced in 1996, while Camilla and Andrew split a year earlier. Charles and Camilla finally went official in 1999, stepping out as a couple at the Ritz Hotel in London. The pair wed in 2005, with Camilla becoming the Duchess of Cornwall.